All right, uh, I just want to start off this video by saying that everybody is doing a great job, doing exactly what we ask, right? Working hard in the workouts, showing up to the workouts, right? All that stuff. Um, probably started the workout program, right? You probably cleaned up your diet a little bit, tried to change some habits, but maybe you're still not getting exactly what you want to get out of a body transformation program. Uh, that's why I've created a health checklist, something that will help us analyze what we do on the daily, all right? Stepping back, taking an unbiased peek at what we do throughout the day. So there's four things in the checklist, all right? Listen carefully, write it down. Am I drinking enough water? Am I eating good food and enough of it? Am I managing my stress levels? And am I getting enough sleep? Okay? Am I drinking enough water? One and a half to two liters per day. Okay? And that's not including food. What I've done is I've filled up this coffee pot to about eight cups. Eight coffee cups, however, uh, Black & Decker marks their cups. Alright? This is a liter and a half. You should be able to drink this in a day, right? Not too tough. What we have to consider is, do you drink this much coffee in a day? Right? Coffee is a, a diuretic, and when you drink diuretics, when you take diuretics, you have to drink more water to replace the water that the diuretics make you lose. Okay? So, water. Am I eating good food and enough of it? Okay? A good protein source, a good carbohydrate source, a good fat source, and vegetables. Okay? Four parts to that. All right? I prepared a meal for my for myself this evening. I have stir fry. There's broccoli, carrots, uh, sugar snap peas, brown rice, and some stir fry sauce that does have a decent amount of sugar in it. Okay, that's my dinner, and I'm gonna have a big old glass of water after that. Okay, I drink water with every single meal. All right, good protein, good carb, good fat, and some vegetables. If you want to make it confusing, go ahead and split it up into five meals, count your calories for each meal, or what you can do is just eat three to four good meals with a small snack in between, right, wherever, wherever it fits for you, all right? But trying to get those four sources in all meals, protein, carbohydrates, fat, and some kind of vegetable, preferably a vegetable. If you want to sneak a fruit in there, it's fine, right? It's good. Fruit's not bad. Uh, stress management. The workouts tie into stress management, right? When we work out, we stress our bodies. That's how we adapt, right? That's how we progress. That's how we learn how to burn our body fat, okay? How we manage that stress and the other stressors in our life is what's going to determine our results. Are we working out too much? Are we maybe not stressing our body enough or not in the right way? Is there other perceived stress, stress at work, stress with family, stress with money situations, right? Perceived stress. It's not threatening to our life, right? We're not going to die because of problems at work, but it's perceived stress and our body perceives it in the same way. And how you manage that is going to help determine your results within any fitness program, okay? Ways to manage stress, Meditation, reading is a form of meditation, right? Doing things you enjoy, doing healthy things you enjoy, okay? Sitting in the dark, thinking, writing things down, deep breathing, okay? Find some information on deep breathing. It is, it's a great tool to have, okay? And the last one is sleep. Are we getting enough sleep? Classic, Monday through Friday, uh, sorry, Monday through Sunday, eight hours a night, right without question but the problem is when we strive for that Monday through Friday and the weekend hits and we're not following that sleep schedule right what happens come Monday morning you feel like you got hit by an effing train right you wake up ah oh, 6 a.m. son of a biscuit oh here we go Monday night rolls around you crash right you crash you're just so tired you wake up Tuesday and you feel good and your week starts again right I understand we're all human we're all going to slip up on our sleep schedule, our diet, our water intake, right? Stress management, all that stuff. But what it comes down to is consistency. 
All right, that's what's gonna make you, right? It forms habits. So, come Friday, Saturday, Sunday, are you just skipping sleep? I mean, just skip, skipping sleep, doing what you want, thinking that you know you'll make up for it the rest of the five days a week? No, that's not how it works. Okay, just take a step back, write it down. Are you drinking one and a half to two liters of water a day? Are you eating good food and enough of it? Are you managing stress to include workouts? And are you getting enough sleep? Seven days a week. Right? Have a good night, guys. See you next time.